sticky or holding me ice cream. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I do love chocolate. You have a lick. Oh, oh, it's the poppets. Oh, hello, my little poppets, and welcome to story time. Just one more lick. Mm, mm. Oh, it's so good, Stinky. Oh, well, Stinky and I are absolutely exhausted, my little poppets, and we've just been having an ice cream break. We've been brawler racing. Can you believe that? Brawler racing. Now, for those of you out there who don't know what brogas are, they are very large water birds. They're quite tall with a very long, slender beak, and you can race them. Well, where I come from, you can anyway. So, we've been having lots of fun, and I'm afraid Stinky and I didn't win. We came in second, which isn't too bad. And it's um, my Uncle Insane and my Aunt Madness, who you've um, heard me mention before, they have a Brolga farm. And they're very big birds, and they've trained them so you can ride them and you can enter a race with them. And they're wonderful. They've got, well, I'll just pop that ice cream down for a moment. I'm quite excited. They've got very long legs, and they sort of stretch out like that, and you can race them. I suppose a little bit like horse racing or riding camels, I suppose. So I'm absolutely exhausted, aren't you, Stinky? Yes, yeah, so we just thought we'd have an ice cream break and have a bit of a rest and get ready for the story, Stinky. And I think, dear, you should have a rest because you look very, very tired. Yes, you do. Oh, you did so well in the brolga, Stinky. I'm so proud of you, dear. Oh, yes, you did a wonderful job. So I'll tell you what, you get comfy under the story tree and you can finish off the ice cream, all right then, dear? Yes, good boy. Oh, I do love a chocolate ice cream, my little poppets, I have to say. So I'll let Stinky finish off the ice cream and he can enjoy that and we'll crack on with the story. Well, Rogers, and as you can see, there's a lovely big red teapot on the story time cake there. And I do believe there's a Brolga there. So this book is called Olga the Brolga, of course. What else would we be reading? Olga the Brolga. And I'm excited about this one, I have to say. It does look very, very good. Wonderful, I can't wait to start reading. And here we go, my little poppets. Olga the Brolga was in a terrible mood. She was whiny and pushy and downright rude. Well, she's a rude, a very rude Brolga. Look at that, she's not happy at all. Well, sometimes I'm afraid they can get a little bit sort of cranky. You do have to be careful when you're riding them. She jumped on the table, knocked over the tea. Will you dance with me, Dad? Please, please dance with me. Her father looked cross and straightened his paper. I'm having my breakfast, so no, maybe later. Well, Dad's not looking very impressed there. Look at that. She's made a dreadful mess. She's knocking everything over with those great long legs of hers. And he doesn't want to dance at the moment, which is fair enough. He's having his brekkie, having some breakfast. Don't ask me, said her mum. Don't ask me again. Don't ask me where. Don't ask me when. Now hop off the table, dance outside for a while. Go dance with your friend, the old crocodile. Well, she's there with um, a teacup on her head. Look at that. And mum is saying perhaps you should go dancing with the old crocodile. Perhaps he'll be interested in having a dance. I must go dancing again, my little poppets. I haven't been for a dance in ages. I must do that soon. Ellie lay in the sun, her mouth yawning wide, her tail in the water, being lapped by the tide. Well, there's Ellie there, my little poppets, and look at all those marvellous teeth. Wonderful teeth that she has, a great big crocodile smile. And she's got her sunglasses on there and some sunblock, which you need if you're going out in the sun. Ellie cried, Olga, giving Ellie a fright. Your tummy's too big and your skin's too tight. You must dance with me. We'll go jiving and grooving. No, replied Ellie. I'm very happy not moving. Why did you ask Joanna Jacana? I saw her dancing last night at the club Tropicana. Oh, well, look at that. Someone else who likes to go dancing. Look at that. I wonder who it could be. Olga found Joanna, tired and sad, collapsed in a heap on a large lily pad. 
Walking on water is hard enough, but dancing on water, boy, that was tough. And another sort of water bird there, and she's been dancing all night long, and she's had it, she's pooped, having a rest. She can't dance anymore. But she's got a lovely pink handbag there. I do like that, I have to say. Let's dance together out here on the marsh. Olga honked in a voice both loud and harsh. Not today, said Joanna, barely raising her head. Maybe tomorrow when I get out of bed. Nope, Joanna's not moving. She's pooped, she's quite tired. No more dancing for her. She's been up all night, I'd say. I want to dance now. I want to flap, kick and jump. Well, don't jump on me, said a small brown lump. Lily, the long neck, popped out her head. I'm a turtle, not a dance floor. Try a log instead. And the turtle's not impressed. She doesn't want to go dancing either. Look at that. Not impressed at all. Although she does have some lovely pink necklaces around her neck. I do like those. Olga rose from the deep, feeling wet and dejected. Her plans for a dance had been rudely rejected. Her shouting, her nagging had all gone unheeded. She must try something else to get what she needed. And there she is there with a very lovely water lily on the top of her head. And she's not very impressed. She's not happy at all. But I think she's gone about it the wrong way, my little poppets. Shouting is not the way to go about it. Olga stood on one leg and thought for a while. Then she paused and smiled, a shy little smile. She danced alone, slowly at first, then faster and faster till she thought she would burst. And there she is there with her feathers stretched out there. Wonderful feathery display. Look at that, how marvellous she is with all those wonderful feathers. She kicked, she flapped, she flew through the air. Everyone passing stopped to stare. Olga stayed silent, she said not a word. Sometimes it's better to be seen and not heard. And there she is there, carried away with her magnificent dance. I don't think she's even noticed that the other animals are there. Look at that. She's caught up in her own little world there, dancing away. Soon a crowd gathered, they picked up the beat. There was a shuffling of feathers and tapping of feet. And now all the other animals are inspired by her wonderful dancing and they've all joined in. Look at that. A feathery dancing fest, I think. As the whistling ducks whistled the latest dance tunes, Olga and friends danced all afternoon. When the sun finally set and the darkness descended, they said their goodbyes and the dance party ended. Oh, a dance party, how marvellous. Dancing the night away. Wonderful, look at that. All the animals dancing. There's a snake there as well. Olga was tired but happy at last. She got what she wanted without having to have asked. And there she is there. Tuck it out, all tired from her dancing. The end. And that was called Olga the Brolga. What a wonderful book. I do like that. And you know what, my little poppets, I must go dancing again very, very soon. I must pick up where I left off. I was having some dancing lessons. I think I have mentioned that to you before from my instructor, who's a rather wonderful zebra and a wonderful ballroom dancer. I must con contact him again soon. Now, Stinky, did you enjoy that story, dear? You did. Oh, that's wonderful. Did you enjoy your ice cream? What's that? You're rather full. Oh, yes, well, if you do get full if you have too much ice cream, but I'm glad you enjoyed it. And you know what? I'm so proud of you, Stinky. You did such a wonderful job in the race, and it's wonderful. And even though you didn't come first, you gave it your best shot, and that's really good. You're a very good sport. I'm very pleased. Yes, you're a wonderful boy. Well, thank you, Michael Poppets, for tuning in for story time. Perhaps you could make a very smart story time cake with a lovely teapot on top, or we'll have a lovely ice cream that you could enjoy give it a lovely good lick chocolate's my favorite but strawberry's very good as well or perhaps you could go brolga riding you could pretend you're riding a brolga and go in a race and as always take care until next time bye